No, don't go cry now. I used to go to the mama. Mama, I used to go to the little local of the select little mama. Mama, I used to go to the little 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 So amazing. Everyone, please welcome to the show, Ty Smith. What is really on Focus and Focus I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man. Welcome to my channel, Modern Renaissance Man. If you are someone who has been subscribed to my channel for a long time, double check to make sure that you are. But if you are fairly new to the channel, get an idea of what this channel is about. What do you do? Go to my channel, click on playlist. All these different things I do on this channel. See all these different thumbnails? Those are all different categories of things that I do on this channel. From comedy to cooking to DIY when it comes to fixing cars. There's a lot of things I do on this channel. So check the channel out in its entirety before you subscribe. I'm pretty sure you'll find something on here that you like. What's going on, good people? Appreciate you guys all being here. Make sure you do everything I told you to do at the beginning of this video. Follow me up here, right there, right there, and right here. And I'm also on Twitter as the Real Ty Smith, my other YouTube channel, Man, Husband, Father, and the channel just devoted straight to memes called Meme Stream Media. All right, so let's get ready to get into this story, folks. I know y'all seen the beginning of that and kind of gave you a little bit of a tickle, but I love it when stuff like this happens because people are so dang on tough. Let me not get ahead of myself. They're so tough, and then when they put that bling bling on their wrist. The attitudes seem to change. Tonight, a 15-year-old migrant under arrest accused of shooting and injuring a tourist in a packed Times Square. The boy also accused of firing at officers after he and two other teens allegedly tried to shoplift from a sporting goods store Thursday night. Just like we promised, less than 24 hours later, he's locked up and off our streets. The injured tourist from Brazil telling NBC New York, I believe this was just an unfortunate incident. It could have happened anywhere in the world. Police say the suspect entered the country from Venezuela in September and was living in a temporary shelter for migrants. He had fled the scene last night and was apprehended today. It's the second high-profile crime involving migrants in Times Square. New body camera footage has now been released from last month's attack on police officers. The footage shows just how the incident started, with officers trying to get a group of migrants to leave before the suspects tell police to stop touching them as they they walk away. One of the officers pushing a suspect against a wall as spectators tell each other to record. As an officer tries to detain the man in yellow, a fight breaks out as other suspects jump in. After days of criticism, the district attorney announcing the indictments of seven people related to that assault. Based on our thorough investigation, I stand here today confident uh, that we have identified the roles of every person who broke the law uh, and participated in this heinous attack. Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg was under fire for earlier releasing four of them without bail. But now the DA, along with the New York City mayor, defending their actions. Our job is to follow the facts, build cases uh, that uh, stand in the court of law. The migrant crisis now dominating headlines and creating a climate of fear that's fueling more crime. Now, the NYPD doesn't specifically keep track of which crimes are committed by undocumented residents, but records show migrants living in New York City centers were arrested 1,200 times last year. That's linked to just 15 percent of the city's facilities. Still, Mayor Eric Adams pushing back on the perception that many or even most migrants are out there committing crimes. The overwhelming number, over 170,000, they want to finish their next leg of their journey of pursuing the American dream. Uh, but there is a small minority that's participating in illegal behavior. A recent Stanford study showing immigrants are 30 percent less likely to be incarcerated than white U.S. born citizens. They've taken over. But still fears and tensions running high on Tuesday. This moment unfolding live on Fox News. Our guys have just taken down one of the migrant guys right here on the corner. When the leader of the group known as the Guardian Angels was doing a live interview, members Members of the group shoved a man, immediately calling him a migrant and accusing him of shoplifting. But the NYPD saying later that the man is an American from the Bronx and making no mention of shoplifting. Unfortunately, we've been warning about this. The more you use dangerous and violent language and misinformation, the more 
potential there is for dangerous and violent actions to occur. Stephen Romo joins us now live on set. Stephen, I think it was important to point out those stats from Stanford about the, the real crime rates historically with migrants in, this uni in the United States. But I do want to ask you about that incident with the Guardian Angels. What, what, what eventually happened there? Yeah, police showed up. The NYPD is looking into this. They did say that the man who was not a migrant was issued a summons for being loud when they, they actually got on scene. I do want to point out, though, that the leader of the Guardian Angels did post an apology today taking responsibility for misidentifying that man as a migrant and did end up apologizing for that. But but the crime, uh, what's happening here with the Garden Angels, it just it speaks to the chaos happening right now with, with migrants here in the city. Okay, thank you for that, Stephen. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media. What am I talking about? You see the title. The migrant team charged in Times Square shooting needs to pay. His aunt says this. Good on this aunt. Good on her. The 15-year-old Venezuelan migrant who allegedly shot a tourist, then turned his gun on NYPD officers in Times Square, needs to pay, his aunt said. He needs to pay for it. It was irredeemable. I mean, irremedial, sorry. What is this word? Irremediable. There we go. Irremediable. She didn't say that. I'm sorry. Let me stop. An irremediable error. And whatever the judge decides is what he needs to do. There's nothing more to do in hindsight. Jesus and his maternal aunt said the woman also who is a Venezuelan migrant who came to the Big Apple 10 months ago said the family was shocked when they learned from cops he allegedly tried to rob JD Sports in West 42nd Street, then blasted a Brazilian tourist and squeezed off two rounds pursuing. I mean, he, he squeezed off two rounds at pursuing cops. Yeah, there he is. Look, look at him. Uh-huh, look at him. Pent up against that wall. Why they put that bling bling on his wrist and his Rivas Figuera and his mom hightailed it from the Stratifer Hotel on West 70th Street, where they've been staying since September, to the aunt's home in Yonkers within hours. Jesus only said there was a problem when he and his mom showed up. But we didn't know the magnitude of the problem until officials showed up and they told us what happened recalled the woman. His mother has been detained by immigration officials since the accused gunman was collared on February the 9th, according to the aunt. We want liberty for her because it's not her fault what her son has done. <clears throat> Listen to this. She did nothing wrong, but the aunt said the mother and the son was high telling it when they came in. I'm not making no assumptions, but where I come from and where I grew up at in the hood, mothers always try to cover for their degenerate sons when they do something like this. They try to cover up from them. They try to help them. They try to shield them because it's in the mother's nature to do it. But I'm loving this aunt right now. She's like, no, he need to go. So it's a good chance the mother's being held because she might have tried to cover for him. She tried to cover for him. I, I'm just saying, that's my assumption, because they do this a lot. His mother has been detained by immigration officials since the accused gunman was collared. If I just read that, we want liberty for her because it's not her fault what her son has done and that they'll give her an opportunity to fight for her son. Whatever has happened, that's still her son. Yeah, criminal. There is some pictures right there when he got arrested. I just showed y'all a short little video of that. On February 10th, the judge ordered Rivas, Rivas, Figueroa to be held without bail in a juvenile detention center. And that's all we have on this story, ladies and gentlemen. I did have video of him. At, uh, actually, let me see if I can bring it up. I had a video of him. I'm going to do this real quick. I had a video of this young man walking through. Let's see. He was walking through the uh, building or something with the bling bling on his wrist and the bling bling on his ankles let's see uh here go a few of them right here but this is not the one that i'm looking for i want the one where they showed him actually federal immigration through. authority let's see Darwin walking through the posted source oh. nope that's not it either uh maybe they're trying to i don't know what they're trying to do with the video here wait this might be it mm, let's see Free tax USA to the rest. Of course, they want to give us all these commercials. But anyway, in the process, would y'all mind hitting that 
like button right now while I'm looking for this. Hit the like button for me. Uh, we seen all that. We seen all this. Okay, we saw all that. No, nah, I don't know, guys. The video is kind of being uh, suppressed right now. You know why? They, they they don't want this stuff to be put out there. They don't want us to see this. Matter of fact, I guarantee you that this is going to be one of those stories that I'm doing right now where they're not even going to allow too much of you guys to be uh, alerted that I'm even doing this right now. Guaranteed or your money back. Let's see. Nope. They're not trying to show any of it. Anyway. I just want to give you all that update on this and everything, and I'm glad that they're holding him and not letting him out. At the same time, there are some other ones, you know, the uh, the ones that beat up the cops and all that. There are some other ones out there. Same exact thing is going on with them. But one of them, I might do a story on that later. I don't know yet until I get a little bit more, you know, info on it. One of them, the judge said the bill at a dollar. I'm not kidding, y'all. Bill was set at one dollar. One dollar. Anyway. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, go into your cell phones in the contact list. Let somebody know about this channel. I appreciate you guys for everything that y'all doing and y'all doing the work on your end because we are officially, as I said when I made the videos earlier, we have hit 336,000 subs, and that's because of you guys. So right now we have 336,145. Thank y'all for what y'all are doing. I really, really do appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that like button before y'all get out of here. Let me hear it in the comment section what y'all think about this. I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I pray every last one of you guys are in great health, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus. What's going on, everybody? So, hey, check this out. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to view these videos. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also, right here, is where you can catch the next video, the latest video that I've done. But like right up here, this is stuff that I've done kind of in the past. So in this area, you might find a video that I've done in the past. It can be funny. It can be something serious. It does not matter. But this is something that you can also do to check out more material that I do in my channel. Because I do a lot in this channel, all right? So again, appreciate everything from you guys. Keep on watching it. Keep on supporting it. And God bless you all.